Listen, I went by the office this morning. The FBI was just chaining up the front door. Yeah. Is Bruiser coming? I doubt it. Arrest warrant's been issued for both Bruiser and Prince. Oh, man. Man, my daughter, just relax. You can do this. It's just a motion. Me? Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm gonna be oh, sick. Oh, you know this case. You're gonna be fine. I don't even have my license. We don't need a license. Come on. I've memorized the Black Files cold. I've read all the books on jurisprudence, the rules of evidence, and discovery. But I take one look around the courtroom, and I realize I haven't even been born yet. Excuse me, uh, sir, your honor. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here for the uh, Black versus Great Benefit hearing. And who are you? Uh, Rudy Baylor, I uh, work for uh, J. Lyman Stone. Oh, you work for Jay Lyman. <coughs> Staunch supporter of the tobacco lobby. <coughs> Where's Mr. Stone? Uh, honestly, Your Honor, I, I, I don't know. I, he was supposed to meet me here, and, and I don't know where he is. Well, why doesn't that surprise me? So what do you want? You want to continue? No, Your Honor. I am prepared to argue this motion. Are you a lawyer? Well, I just, I just passed the bar, and uh, these are my clients. Uh, Mr. Stone filed this on my behalf until I passed the bar. Well, you got a hell of a lot of nerve walking into my courtroom without a license. Now get the hell out of here, get no license, and then you come back. Get a license! Come back when you got a damn license! May it please the court. For the record, my name is Leo F. Drummond of Tinley Britt, counsel for great benefit. And I say, if this young man has passed the bar exam, Your Honor, let him argue the case. We welcome him to uh, big time litigation. You have no objection, Mr. Drummond? If it please the court, I would be honored to introduce uh, Mr. Baylor to the practice of law of the great state of Tennessee, Judge. You can give him the oath right now, and I'll, I'll be pleased to stand for him. Are you certain you're prepared to proceed, Mr. Baylor? Absolutely. Yes, Your Honor, yes. Well, very well, then raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear, Rudy Baylor, that you will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States and the state of Tennessee faithfully and honorably, conduct yourself, practice your profession to the best of your skills and abilities? So help you, God. I do. Okay, fine, fine. That's it. Let's move on. <coughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the war. Sworn in by a fool and vouched for by a scoundrel. Harvey? I'm a lawyer at last. Good morning. There, yeah, huh? Sure. All right, sit down. The lawsuit bothers me, Mr. Baylor. I wouldn't use the word frivolous, but Bring? I'm not impressed with the merits of it, to be frank. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm trying to sneak some gym time in. In fact, I'm really tired of these type of lawsuits. Excuses? I'm inclined to grant the motion to dismiss. Now, you can uh, refile it in federal court, you know, take it somewhere else. <laughs> I don't want to clog it up my docket. <clears throat> now, excuse me while I go to the can. You do. Rudy? I'm a very expensive lawyer. I'm a very expensive firm, and uh, I've had a lot of cases. I can hit pretty close to the center of the dartboard, and I told uh, my client's great benefit that cost alone here is going to be a big deal. And for you, too, your side, too. Now, they've authorized me to offer you <clears throat> and your clients $50,000 to settle this thing out. And I, I may even be able to raise that figure up as high as uh, maybe 75000 No admission liability, you understand? Of course, uh, 
If you say no, and it's going to be World War III, <laughs> I turn now, may I, Hoff? Sure. Not much of a lawsuit here, I'm afraid, son. But maybe I can lean on Leo to make you an offer of a settlement. They'll probably want to throw some money at you to keep from paying Leo a thousand bucks a minute. <laughs> but he already offered me the cost of the defense. Oh, really? How much? Uh, 75,000. Jeez. Well, look here, son. You'd be crazy not to take that. <laughs> you think so? 75,000, geez, that's a, that's a bunch of money. It doesn't sound like Leo. Well, he's a, he's a great guy. Hmm. Oh. So? That was not a meeting in chambers, that was an ambush. What happened? They tag teamed me. Yeah. Think they would have done that to Bruiser? No. No, no. Bruiser's too savvy for that. Yeah. For what? They offered me 75000 Good. Take it. Our third is 25000 We need the money. Judge Hale is serious about dismissing this case. He's just an old, angry man who's been sitting on that bench too long.